A very good morning to you Crafty Nut. So today I thought I'm going to start the video straight down on my mat just to make sure that we don't get that buffering what we had, well not buffering but that um, sort of freezing. I'm not sure if it was Facebook itself or if it was my connection but um, I thought if I start straight in the lighting rig and I'm going to turn the camera around later on so you can see me as well. How's everybody today? It's nice and sunny outside again. I did bike into work yesterday and I'm hoping to bike in today as well. Did feel a bit, little bit sore this morning but um, it was all right. So these bracelets are really lovely. You get such a lovely texture with them. Um, you get, it's like a watch strap texture I guess. They're magnetic clasp, they slide a magnetic clasp on them and it's really easy to make them. I'm going to take you through step by step how to do them. You can make so many different colors. Um, I really, I, I did, you know, uh, again, it's me. I have to play with so many different colors. Um, I can't just have one or two colors. So it's a really a great one to make. Um, you can, like any beading stitch, I guess, this one can get addictive as well, but never mind. Right, so let me just um, bring the video up on my computer here so I can see all your lovely comments. And I just want to say hi to everybody and then we're going to get going. So, good morning, um, Lucy, Maxine, Margaret, Mercia, Joe, Jackie, Linda, Chris, Nat, Alicia, Margaret, Pamela, Karen, Debbie, Sadie, Shayla, Diane, Christine, Margaret, um, Karen, Jean, Addison, Jan, gosh, there's so many of love you of you ladies and gentlemen here this morning. Eileen, Debbie, Victoria, Chris, and uh, Chris is saying, good morning, Kitty. I love using Super Duos. Um, they give such a great designs. Yes, I'll show you. If you haven't seen them before, I'll show you them up close just in a minute. Good morning, Helen, Ruth, po Paula, Margaret, Julie, Linda, Diane, Bernie, um, Angela. Um, Angela's saying, has the free download changed as I have been charged 99p for it? So do have a look. If he, if it was supposed to be free, I'm sure Simon's going to refund you the money. So don't worry. But um, I'll, I'll check it out just in a minute and see if um, what's happening there. Sometimes when you change things on the website, it takes a little while for the changes to be made live. So let's just go on the website and have a look. Um, if you go on totallybeads.co.uk, we got the Facebook tutorial um, category. And we got all the Facebook tutorials, what we have been doing over the last, is, is showing, so showing zero pounds. So it should, uh, should be free. Once you have to add it to your basket and check out and then it, the system will automatically email it to you. Now we have got some bracelets on there. They're all $5.99 each to make. Um, they contain your beads, so your Super Duos, your 3mm pearls, your size 11 seed beads, and then um, the clasp as well. All you're going to need is a needle and thread um, if you got any, but you can add it as an extra as well. So if I go into one of the bracelets, you can see there is an um, option to add thread or needle on there if you wish or need to. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let me just pop my iPad to the side. And that's it. So the texture you're creating, this is sort of combining right angle weave and straight stringing as well. Very easy to make. Um, I uh, When did I design this? I designed this quite a few years ago, actually, and um, had really nice, we had really good um, response to it and I think so many of you lovely ladies got got it already or made the bracelet if you have done so then please do go on to one of our groups um, on Totally Beads so on the Totally Beads um, Facebook page we have groups which are um, I think Totally Bead Handmade is the most popular one and um, you can um, share your pictures you have to ask to join the group but i am there pretty much every day um sort of accepting all the 
people who want to go into the group so do check it out you, there's all the like-minded people there making loads of lovely different designs so you can have give inspiration to each other as well as um you know share what you're making because I'm, I'm so glad we can give inspiration to you but um you lot always take it a little bit further and put your own twist on it and it's so lovely to see so the materials we're going to be using these is a super duos now super duos that just I'm hold it here if the camera is going to focus on it now it's got two little holes on them so they if you turn it sideways they're like sort of a long diamond shape and if I turn it to the sort of the other side you can see you've got two holes on it what is the great thing about this to having two holes is that you can link things together with the same beads and the great thing about it is that um in your weaving using any two hole beads it just makes your weaving easier um, in terms of you don't have to go back through your thread path again and again it just really it creates a really lovely patterns we also can be using three millimeter pearls that's what's going in the middle of our design and we're going to use some size 11 seed beads to sort of fit um either side of our super duos just to get i'm using super long size d I know that uh, um, loads of you got this thread, but I, I showed you this last week and um, what we had quite a few discussions about threads. Um, let me just show you my threads. Now, what I love about Supalon, this is a synthetic material, but what I love about it, this comes in 36 um, colors. So you can... Um, you know you can uh, um, match the color of the thread to the color of your seed beads so when you're beading with it it's sort of the thread i guess disappears with the colors of the seed beads i know fireline and wildfire and sort of other things are out there but why i love this and use this all the time because of all the different colors you can get in there and you can match pretty much every single color of seed beads i mean there's 36 colors in this one um in the seed beads you've got thousands of different colors and shapes and sort of uh, different finishes as well but with these threads you can really match them up so i'm gonna work i'm gonna thread my needle i'm gonna leave the bobbin on the end of my um thread because if later on i run out of thread i can always come back and unreal um more thread from the bobbin so um it will be easier to you don't need to join a new thread you already got some more thread there so first of all we're going to start with with the super duos and we're going to start with the seed beads so we're going to run up all the way up on one side just adding the super duos and seed beads i just get these out of the way a little bit more i leave one should make the same color in the shot for you so you can see all the way what we're doing so i'm just going to start picking up a super duos now it doesn't matter which hole you're going to be picking them up because they can sort of spin around and they same shape on both ways what i like to do when i'm working with super duo beads that as they are down on my mat i sort of look at them because you maybe get one bead out of a thousand that um one of the holes are blocked and when you come back on your design it's quite annoying because you might have to sometimes you can unblock those holes with just sort of piercing with a little needle because just a little bit of something inside them but sometimes you have to take your design back and take that i mean it only happens to me once in a blue moon but um it's quite annoying when it happens so i, I do look out for it to as I'm picking them up so they've got nice and clear holes not just super duos any two hole beads I guess so just keep adding all the lovely beads on there until you get the length of your bracelet just altering one super duo and one seed bead oh Elaine is saying oh sorry I'm late forgot what's the time Duty saying morning, Kitty and everyone. Uh, 
um lj is saying a quick hi and bye i really wanted to see this demo but i'm afraid i have to blow this one out and catch it later so you can always watch our video back um on our page as well um we created the big blue button above the items that takes you straight to the video for that particular day so let me just show you this quickly um if i go back one so that was yesterday's video if i go into that one um if i press on this big blue button it will take me to facebook and show me the page where um the start the video straight away where you need to be and um show you all otherwise you can watch it back on facebook as well if you're on facebook there is a tab which is um called videos if you click on that you can find all the lovely videos we did we've been doing this facebook lives over 10 weeks now keep saying it's seven weeks but no it's 10 weeks i suppose the time flies when you're having fun another day i was such a plonker i was such a silly sausage i told you it was the 28th of april and it was indeed may but this is just shows you that how time flies i guess and then you forget what the day or what day is or what the date is and that's it so just keep adding it's going to take me probably a couple of minutes just to pick up all of these lovely beads i love this color right a lot of you saying that the pdf is charging you if that's the case i'm sure simon's going to refund everybody so don't worry about it on my end is showing us zero pounds so it might be a glitch in the system Just keep adding these beads. Alinda is saying, just popped in to say hello. I will watch this video, video later. I think so many people gone back to work this week, especially if you're a school teacher or, um, you know, the school started back up. Uh, my children are still at home because my Christopher is in year four and Lucy's in year eight. So they haven't gone back yet. But the school is hoping that they're going to reopen for them as well in a couple of weeks. Just keep picking up the beads. I'm going to measure this against the bracelet just in a second. So we got quite a good length here. Maybe I should have pre-strung this earlier for you. See if we could have gone back and do it quicker. But hey ho. Just keep going and adding them. All the way down. Linda is asking, how do I watch a video as Kitty? I sent the friend, re friend request. Is that the correct way? I think you are doing them on a Sunday. So no, um, I got a personal page, which is Kitty Robinson Designs. I don't, well, my Kitty Robinson, I got a personal Facebook page as well, but I don't really use that. I don't really even go on my personal Facebook that much. So I do sort of tell you about a little chat on i'm doing it on sunday nights now we used to do it on saturday nights but on saturday there's always something going on in our family so i um change it to sunday net and that is on kitty robinson design so there is no friend request for that one you just have to like my page as well and sarah's got her own personal page as well which is sarah Millsop. it's got her designer logo at the top and uh, you can um she does videos as well <clears throat> Excuse me, let me just sip of my coffee. She does videos as well. She's quite into her sort of flower stuff with craft body. She also does resin and little bits of pieces. So I guess we all like and do different stuff. I think this might be the right amount now. So I'm just going to measure this up against this bracelet. I think this is the right size. Maybe a couple more than that for me. What I started to do, yeah, we need two, one, two, three, five more. So one, two, do check before we're gonna turn back around on our super jewels just in a second. Do check before you turn around that uh, you did pick up the correct pattern as well because believe me that happened to me as well i get so almost all the way back down and i realize oh there is two seed beads or there is two um super duo sitting right next to each other 
four and five. Right, so we got all the length we need for our bracelet. I just made this one a slightly bit longer because I like to wear my bracelets quite loose. Just pull this up, measure it again. Yeah, that's it, we got a couple of extra ones. So now all we did so far is strung our seed beads and super jewels all the way down. And now we're gonna turn around. So I'm gonna pick up three of the seed beads and basically I'm just gonna come back through the last super jewel bead. So we just created this little pico edge right at the top with the three seed beads, and then we're gonna turn around. Now I do like to wrap the tail end on my index finger on my other hand. Let's pull all of these down, just to sort of make it easier and suspend the work in my hand because then I can hold on to the end and I'm keeping sort of the tail end away from myself and I'm stitching away as well but I very quickly and easily they sort of I can roll the super jewels around my finger so they're always um, sticking upwards I guess so it's really easy for my needle to go back in there. And just pick, keep picking up a seed bead and going through the next super jewel. Oh, Debbie's saying four stitch charges sorted out now. Thank you, Simon. Oh, it was so lovely the other day as well when we had a problem with the PDF. Um, I don't know who it was, but um, phoned into the warehouse and Simon sorted out very quickly. Sometimes I, I'm not technical at all, so I, I can't edit the website. Um, I can do certain bits on a computer, but um, that's all down to Simon, Molly and Leanne. They're the one who are editing the website and making up the pages. But I guess I wouldn't have time anyway, because I'd rather play with my pretty beads. It's funny is that some things sort of really interest you and you can sit there for hours and hours and hours and just bead away. And oh, Nat saying it was me, Kitty. So thank you very much, Nat, um, for sorting that out for us. Simon do watches my um, the Facebook lives and he does do the comments as well. But at the moment, we're quite busy in a warehouse and he's there. So he can, um, he needs to probably process orders and they're packing them out and sending them out today. And I'm just doing this from home because the setting, the lighting rig I got here is better than the one at work is, the one at work is forward facing. So when we're doing something intricate like this, you really, I guess you needed the camera down on the beat so you can really see what we're doing. I have looked into sort of some other setups as well because we've been doing this Facebook Live for so many weeks and um, want to really have the picture sort of going sideways so you can see more of what I'm doing. And I'm doing this with my phone and with the phone, with um, Facebook, you can only have it um, vertical. So it would be cool if we could have it horizontal. So I'm looking into that. Oh, and that's saying that's no problem anytime. I was watching you was I was in the dead on my break. Oh, lovely. Thank you, Net. Anne's asking, is it totally beads on CNC tomorrow at nine? Yes, it is. So Sarah is going to be on TV tomorrow. Um, but we both sort of guessed the shows, but at the moment, um, because we got Simon Parent staying with us, and um, they both over 70, we decided that sort of I'm going to be working more from home. And Sarah only lives 25 minutes away from the studio. So she, um, she's basically guesting every single show. I'm, I'm quite, I really want to sort of get back up and do one or two. Just I sort of keep saying I don't forget the layout of the studio. And um, because I do really enjoy them. But at the moment, I think, you know, we just all want to stay safe. And my husband and my son is asthmatic. So just um, be on a cautious side <laughs> until, don't know, <laughs> further notice, I guess. Elaine is saying, for some, for some reason, the link for the PDF now won't work for me. But Simon has been marvellous resending the link in a form um, 
I'm so sorry. Um, it wouldn't be us, I guess, if we didn't have some technical problems time to time. But um, we will get everything sorted. Um, if you do email Totally Beads, so if you email sales at Totally Beads, if you had any problems, Simon will sort the ad straight away for you. Or you can phone the office in as well. But if you've been charged for the PDF and you shouldn't be charged, then they will quite simply just refund the money for you. So I'm keep adding my seed beads. I'm um, more than halfway through, almost at the top. And you can see we're creating this really lovely sort of strip of beads. And that's what I love about this bracelet because it's combining straight stringing and combining a little bit of right angle weave, which we're going to do just in a minute. It's really, um, so it's quite an easy sort of beginner's make as well, quite relaxing make as well. But even in my stuff, I like to do begin beginners and easy stuff time to time, especially if I sort of watch a TV or watch a movie with the kids and um, just want to switch up. Um, Simon just put a post of, hi ladies, PDF now free for for delivery. If your link does not work, email sales at Totally Beads, we will email the PDF back. Elaine's saying, I think it must be due to an iPhone update. I'm not really sure, but um, if that's referring to the video, but I'm looking into, I'm reading up about it, and I found a couple of softwares, what we could buy, and um, maybe we'll make it more, sort of in a wider picture, we see. Bear with me, a week or two, and <laughs> we will get it sorted. So I'm just keep adding my seed beads. If you just joined us, we're making these lovely, they're sort of a watch strap like um, texture with super dual beads and um, seed beads and three millimeter pearls. Um, we're using a two loop magnetic clasp as well. There are kits available on the website. They are $5.99 each. They don't contain needle and thread. So at Totally Beads, we do, sometimes we do kits where we include the thread as well. If you, if I know you're gonna need a lot of thread to do a particular project, then we include the thread as well. If you don't need that so much thread, um, this is the things because a bobbin of thread, what you have, and I, I have so many bobbins of thread, a bobbin of thread has about 70 meters on there, which is enough for years. So to keep the prices of the kits down, um, sometimes we offer them without the thread. Because most of us has got thread and needle at home. But if you haven't, you can add it on as an extra. Um, Margaret's saying, I would rather, um, much rather watch you, Kitty and Sarah. So not worried about the life, the file. Um, that's just me though. Yes, I think like the PDF files are great and um, sort of you can download them. You can make a real sort of ring bind floor, folder up with them. And um, because what I find, even myself as well, so I'm right down at the end now. Even myself as well, when I um, haven't made something for years, I do need to go back into the instructions, even though if I've written the instruction up, just to sort of see the, um, how I did it or what, what I did. But um, yeah, so we got down to the other end. So we got the, I suppose, one third of our bracelet done here. We got the whole strip down to the end. Now we're going to turn around and we're sort of going to right angle weave our way back down with um, some of our pearls and the help of more seed beads. So I'm going to, actually I'm going to take these out just for a sec because we don't need them right now. I'm going to add the pearls to my mat and then go back on myself. So um, a couple of things you could do here. Um, I like to, I don't like to knot my tail end and my working thread together just in case if I do go, need to go back into the seed beads again. I don't want that knot then um, seep into the hole on the bead. And if it seeps into the hole of the bead, then it can block that, you know, that bead, that little seed bead only have maybe about 0.5 millimeter 
um, hole and if the knot sips into it we won't be able to go through it anymore again. So I'm going to pick up the three seed beads to match my pattern on the other side and I'm going to go back on the first super duo and the seed bead as well. But if you wanted to, before you go back into the super duo and the seed beads, you could knot your tail end and your working thread together. Um, if you're a beginner, I suppose you want something more solid to hold on. I do sort of hold the tail in my hand, so I'm keeping my tight tension that way. Is it the azure blue you are making up? Um, let me just have a look on the... I think it's called the Midnight Ocean. I'm doing the azure blue is this one. Let me just grab this one. So that's this is a really lovely color as well. This is more of a dark turquoise aqua. This one is more of sort of like a sea foam tealy color. Well, maybe more like tealy because this one is the one which is more sea foamy color. So I'm going to start my right angle weave here. So as I'm exiting out of this seed bead here, I'm going to pick up a pearl. I'm going to pick up another seed bead and another pearl. So pearl, seed bead, pearl. Then I'm going to come, as I'm exiting out this side of the seed bead, I'm going to come to the other side of the seed bead and go through that seed bead the next super duo and the next seed bead and when I pull this up tight these pearls just sort of gonna pop in place and form be forming a little loop just there so now on my next one I'm only need to pick up a pearl and a seed bead because we already have the other pearl there on our beading so this time I'm gonna go down through this pearl towards my beadwork and pull it up tight. Um, sometimes you can do sort of in one needle uh, a go to go to the pearl and the seed beads what you need to go on your beadwork but sometimes I find it's easier to do it sort of in two steps. So first I would go through the pearl and then you need to take your thread through the seed bead you were coming at before you added these ones, the next super duo and the next seed bead and just pull this up tight make sure your thread doesn't get caught and pull this up and now we got two of them sitting there i'm going to turn this around because i like to work away from myself it's for each of us i suppose it's different how we hold um the piece of jewelry we're making some people prefer to work on the mat and they don't pick up the sort of the beadwork at all and I like to hold it in my hand because then I can get hold onto my tension and I like to always work away from myself as well. So I keep sort of flippy flopping um, the bracelet over. Oh, Margaret saying, I have saved all your videos on my Kindle. I also got a couple of files. They don't open though. I have a computer. Right, so you is yes, you can save your videos. You can save it on Facebook or you can save it. Um, I think you can download it in a way or, or I'm not really sure. Um, but if you share the video, we no longer can, um, it's sort of, it will stay on your timeline forever as well. So if you save your favorite videos, your favorite makes, um, or if you share it, you will definitely have it there to look at later on as well. Because you might be six months down the line when you fancy making something like this again and you just need to go back and remind yourself how to, how to start or how many seed beads to pick up or how many seed beads to sort of go through. I keep going to the seed bead pile first, but I need to pick up the pearl first. Oh, Margaret's saying she's not computer savvy, and neither am I. I can do my emails, I can sort of save files and bits and pieces. Um, I can work on Adobe Illustrator uh, to do instructions and illustration, draw out instructions and bits and pieces. But if you ask me to um, add a new printer 
or <laughs> do or, or add a new Wi-Fi connection to my computer. I think that's when my brain freezes. So because I turned my way around now, I can sort of do it in the same stitch. So I can go to the pearl and the seed bead, super duo seed beads, what I need to go and do on my pattern. It just makes it a little bit quicker because you don't have to go through twice. You don't have to pull your needle through twice. You only do it once. Oh, Mary saying, not feeling too good today. Got a really had bad day. Had, sorry, tongue tied here. Bad headache. I had really bad headaches last week. I'm, I hope you're all right, Mary. I always get headaches when the weather changes. And Paula's saying, yes, um, so what Molly started to do at work, she started to download the videos and upload it back up to our YouTube channel. I know it's um, because it's a Facebook Live and I'm still sort of talking and interacting with you a lot. Um, they're not um, sort of, they're quite longer, make, longer makes what they should be. But um, I just thought if we put it on YouTube as well, then that's another way you can find it. So we have got a YouTube channel, which is just Total the Beads. And go and check that out as well. But do share the video so your friends and family or your crafty fans can um, download the free PDF today because the PDF is only free for a day. And then tomorrow it will be something else. So I'm just keep going and adding these pearls. I'm so sorry, this might be a little bit longer make today. I hope you're all right. I love doing stitching with beads. Um, Effia, ho I hope I said your name right. What a lovely name. Um, I'm using Superlon size D. So Superlon, the thread what I showed you, which is, comes in many, many different colors. Um, that's what I love about it. There's 36 different colors and I can match the color of the thread to the color of the seed beads I'm using. Um, comes in two sizes. So there is D and there is double A. Now D I would use um, for anything size 11 or size eight or size six seed beads. I only use double A if I'm using size 15 seed beads and I have to go through the same hole over and over again. And that's it, just going through that seed bead there. Just keep adding your pearls all the way through. I think I made I made a mistake here, so I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna, I went through the super Jew as well and I shouldn't have. Now, normally, I think a lot of people wouldn't care, but I know if I went wrong somewhere with my thread path, um, it would bug me afterwards. And um, then you sort of wear the bracelets and you have no, I suppose I, I got no control over it. Your, your eyes always focusing on the one little mistake what you made. So I'm just going to, it's just a couple of steps. If you're asking, thank you, is it on your website? Yes, it is. It's called Supulon. It's under stringing materials. I'm so sorry. Usually I have Sarah or somebody to do the um, links. But at the moment, everybody's busy, I guess. That's it. So, yep, yeah, be perfect there. Just going to re-thread my needle. I'm gonna trim the end. This is um I know Lucy's obviously is her nightmare thread needles and um for us as well, I suppose for me and Sarah, when you we thread needles, I suppose I could thread needles blindfolded, but when you have to thread it live or on live TV or here or when you're doing sort of a live video, it's always a bit nerving that oh please go through. I'm just pulling the needle down. Right, and we're good to go again. 
So through the pearl and the seed bead, super duo seed bead. Oh, <laughs> Debbie's saying it's good to see that you get distracted and you have to get sorted. I mean, like last night was a classic example that how I got distracted. So I'm finishing all my ombre bracelets from um, the Sunday video. And yesterday I finished the purple and the blue one. So I finished four bracelets and I still got another two. I'm going to do it tonight. But um, at the same time, I was on the phone with Sarah and I did the sort of three quarters of the way, the bracelet was, the colors were blending one way. And then because I was sort of chatting on the phone, um, I didn't, I guess, look at what I was doing. I started to then blend the colors from the other side. And not until I finished the bracelet and I was gonna put the clasp on, I realized that I did it wrong. And um, I had to take it apart and redo it again. Oh, Lucy, thank you so much. Posting the link for the thread. It's a really great thread. It holds up to the weight of six pounds as well. So it's very strong as well. I really have a problem with it. I, I use it. I've been using this for, God, about 15 years, I guess. And I have got fine line and other stringing materials as well. I tried because I, I, I sort of one of those people I'm quite like to try new tools and new materials. But um, I keep going. I used to use Nymo, but Nymo used to sort of shred for me. And, and, I, and then you have to wax it. And if you wax it, then the wax seeps into the needle. Then you can't um, thread your needles anymore. So... I keep going back to this one and, and I love using this one all the time. Oh, Mary saying, oops, bought the peacock blue. You will love it. It's because, oh, I picked up the seed bead again first, because it's such a lovely structure. It's more like a watch strap structure. It's really comfortable to wear. Um, Sean is asking, Kitty, do you find it easier working on a table like Sarah than beading? Do you have other alternatives also? Well, I, I can bead anywhere. So there's a couple of things I do use. I like to, it depends on how much space I need, I guess. Because if you're working with a lot of colours and you've got a lot of seed beads and a lot of other beads sort of on your mat, and um, or are you working with larger beads or doing stringing um, you need space for it so then I like to work at the table and I just got like this a material what I have got on my table is just a fleece now I think I'm not sure how much is at your local shop but my local fabric shop sells this for $5.99 a meter so I bought I think um, a couple of meters and then I had to cut it in half because it was too big. Um, it's really, so I got always got one on my table and one in the wash. Um, it's really great and it goes along by, it comes in so many different colors as well. So you could have a lighter color for um, darker beads and a darker color for lighter beads. Very inexpensive and it's great for your, it just sort of stops your beads rolling around but now I just made a mess of my beads. Just pull them together a little bit. And if I wanna work, like the other day I was working in the garden, because I thought it would be a really good idea to sunbathe for a couple of days and get burned. And now I can go out to the sun. I think I'm, I'm on the way to heal now, though my skin is healing. And um, next week, or later on this week, I guess if it's still nice and sunny, I'm going to have another couple of beading days in the garden as well. So when I'm beading in a garden, or, or we do pop down to the beach as well, um, depending on, like, you know, again, what I'm doing, I like to take smaller projects. So um, by smaller project, I mean I like to do bead stitching, but you only need... Um, few materials, not so many like this one. You only use really using three different type of beads, and then I got the bead trays, 
reach. Um, let me just grab you and show you one. So bead trays, they the same size as the meat bead mats. We do sell on them on the website and they fit your bead mats perfectly and you can just take this and use it on a lap tray or these are the bracelets what I was used, doing yesterday so that's why they're on that mat. And I got quite a few of them here because I got different projects set up on different mats so you can just very quickly change them over depending on what you fancy doing. So I used uh, um, a couple of those and then I made up sort of little, you know, the storage tubes, what I use for my storage and store all my seed beads in it. Let me just go on one sec. Let me just pull this through and I grab you and I show you. And what I did there is I just cut up a bead mat. Right over the door. So, because I used the tubes elsewhere and I had an empty box here, what I did this is just this is the just a little box, what I but you can use any little box or any little Tupperware box as well. Any flat ones, I think they you can buy them sort of in loads of the different shops. So this one way is deeper and the other way is thinner. So what I usually do, I just cut a bead mat up to the right size and I can bead on this as well. So if I go on a plane or if I go somewhere where um, the space is very, very limited, then I use something like this. And it's a really great way as well because you can pack all your projects or, or I usually pack one project into one. You can pack it all in there with all your beads, have the top on. Now this hasn't got any clips, so usually I just use like an elastic band to hold it together and then I can get it out and roll out and then work on this little surface because if you only have two or three different seed beads there, you don't really need much space to pick up your beads from. But because it has a lip, if then it was the bees were, were to roll, they ferro rocher very good. Um, they are saying yes, so you get a double whammy there, I guess, because you get to enjoy the chocolate and then you can use the little box for um, make your own little um, little storage slash beadwork sort of little project box. Um, Jean is asking, is this pattern on the USB at all? I think it is. Um, I think it's USB 2. I think. I think like when you, when I work on a USB and do USB, I can pretty much tell you all 20 projects and pretty much in order um, straight away. But as the months goes past, um, you forget what's on what. And things, I guess, merge into one another, and then you need to. I need to relook it up. But I think it's in USB too. Um, Chita is saying, "Love the box, Sandy. Is so clever." So I think sometimes this is what great about you know crafting and craft lots. That if you like crafting and you do a lot of crafts, um, then um, it's really great to. You know, you're always in the look at the how you can do something better or different or perhaps create it with cheaper materials because we all, I, I'd rather spend, I guess, money on beads and um, what then I can enjoy and create with than at the actual box itself. So sometimes, you know, we will come up with. Oh, Diane is asking, will the USB with an adapter fit a newer iPad. Um, by newer iPad, do you mean the iPad Pro, which is, has the USB-C connector, or is the lightning connector you have, which is the normal iPhone, I suppose, end? Let me know. I'll grab, I've got a USB on my other desk as well, so I'll show you in a minute. But let me just keep on reading with this one because if you keep stopping, um, we're never going to finish this project. And so I suppose this is the 
<clears throat> when you go into this right angle weave and doing this part of the bracelet, that's what takes the longer. We're going to start stringing them on once we get to the angle again to come back and add the other side and that will really speed up them. Um, Lucy's saying, I think I saw it on years with you. I was looking through the other day. Now, box standard iPen 2019. Right, let, let me just um, grab the USB, USBs. So this was, they all look the same. This was, was US, USB number three, which is flat stitches. So all the USBs um, come with multiple adapters. I haven't got the adapter for the USB-C, which is for your Androids. Um, here, I had one somewhere, but because I haven't got an Android phone or uh, where I need a USB-C connector, I most probably misplaced it somewhere. So this is your normal USB connection, which is goes into your computer. It also goes into your TV as well. Then this can flip up and you got a micro USB, which is again, some of the Google phones or Android phones using it as well. So it can go in there as well. And then on the other side, you got a iPhone, iPad connector. So if your charger looks like this, then it will go in there straight. But there is another adapter, which I haven't got here, I'm afraid, um, what goes on the micro USB side. So you need to flip this up and add that attachment to it. And then this will then go into your USB-C devices. So some of the new Mac computers haven't got USB ports anymore. They only got USB-C ports. I think Sarah's one like that. Um, then you will need that one for it. Now, when you first get the USB, so each USB, the first one had 30 projects um, and some of the projects had videos. And then we did listen. This was released last year in November. Then we did listen because all you really wanted that... Um, um, you wanted more videos. So then from USB 2 onwards, every single project has a video with it, a make-along video to how to make it. I think on USB 3, there is about eight or nine videos that Sarah filmed for me because we just got so close to the deadline. The bless her, she just came down. She's just like a little trooper, a little angel, helped me out and um, did some of the videos. And I was concentrating doing the PDFs for it. So then on the because the development to doing more videos so if you there is nine and a half hours videos on usb number two and number three but to create nine and a half hours of video is probably about 80 hours of work because first you have to do the video then you have to edit the video and um that takes quite a lot of time as well so reduce the number of um projects to 20 from USB 2, but every single one of them has got a video. It's also got a picture gallery in there, so you can just look at the pictures and have a look um, which one, which projects you like the look of it. And what we, what I wanted to do and what we did, uh, when we made something up, we included quite a few different colors of the same um, technique or same weave what we were doing because sometimes um, I find myself I don't know if, if you're the same but I find sometimes I don't like a necklace not because it's not a pretty pattern or not because it's not hasn't got nice speed but just because of the color of it so I'm really drawn to aquas and teals and purples um, sea foams um, blues all sorts of blues and if you show me a necklace in brown color or an amber color i not necessarily not going to like the necklace but it's not the color what i would normally wear so i shine away from it and if you show me a different necklace with aqua or blue i will go straight to that necklace myself and I think this is what, what's great as well, because I'm going for the aquas and blues and purples and pinks. And Sarah tends to go for the greens and browns and coppers, and that, because that's, that's what her colors as well, I guess. But depending on what, I think it depending on what color your eyes or what color your hair or what color is your skin tone, um, you tend to like different colors. Um, oh, I, I see that you're answering each of those questions and you're talking about the USBs. 
So we just wanted to release an educational program because we have so many um, kids. I mean, we all probably over the last 15 years, we done um, over a thousand different kits and different patterns and different um, techniques, different materials and so many different things. And I do get asked by a lot of people who are new to um, beading or just coming into the craft, they find us through either Facebook or they find us on YouTube or they find us just on Google on the website. Um, the why can I start or we meet them at the shows as well. At the moment, there isn't any scheduled in, I guess, but um, hopefully they will start back in the autumn because I do like to go out and meet all the lovely people. So meet them at the shows and they ask like, oh, where do I start? I'm just a beginner. I've done perhaps a few stringing projects to get me started, but I want to do something more complicated or I want to do something. Um, I want to learn a particular technique. I want to learn how to do peyote stitch or I want to learn how to do um, right angle weave, herringbone stitch or Hubble stitch or any other stitch out there. And when you look at books, um, you get with, with my problem with books that um, I'm a visual learner. So if I get a book, it can be 70 pages or 100 pages long. I rarely read the words. I think this comes because I'm dyslexic as well. So I don't, uh, if I don't have to, if there's a diagram, I will just follow the diagram. And if there is a video, even better, I just follow the video because I think visually you can learn quicker. And for me, if I have to read the words, sometimes I have to read the same step probably about three times to make sense of it. So I always look for the videos and um, diagrams in books. So I wanted to put something together. Um, I wanted to put something together where you um, can, I guess, um, have a PDF, so if you want to read it, you can read it in the PDF face diagram, so you can see as well. But at the same times, I wanted to put pictures there, which is again you can still get in the book. But what you can't get in the book is to have a um, to have the videos, and I think the videos are really, um, you know, some people to just learn much easier. So I got right to the end. I added an extra pearl here to sort of I'm going to go right up to the clasp. We haven't got the extra pearl on this side, but we will do um, when we get back on the end. So now I need to weave my thread around. So I'm going to go through the pearl and I'm going to go through the first seed bead. And we're going to go back to our sort of stringing mode here because what we're going to, we don't need the pearls anymore. So let me just get these pearls right out the way. What we're going to need from now on is, oh, we're going to need one pro actually on the other side. Telling you porcupines here. So we're going to need our super duos. And what we're going to do is just fill the gap. So as you can see, if you look at right down or... Um, Lindy's asking, you are just like me. Are you left-handed? Um, no, I'm got two left hands that's how i call it i can bead with my left and my right hand as well so we're just picking up a super duo here and going through the next seed bead which sort of sticking out between the two pearls and that's all we're doing here to create the same pattern we have on the other side so we do, did the most difficult and hardest part of um, doing our right angle weave right down in the middle and we are back to our Nice and easy stringing. So I just need a sip of my coffee. Every so often I can just hear my voice is going. So now I said this yesterday as well. I can write, I can bead, I can do everything with my left and my right hand. I haven't got my right side, I guess my right hand is more dominant than my left hand. But um, I can do it with both. My uh, my writing with my left hand is probably nicer than the cat can do some scratches on the wall. But um, no, actually, you can read it. It's all right. But it's not as nice as the right one because I think it's all practice. If I um, use my left hand more, then perhaps I, it would be nicer as well. Um, I don't know if it means anything. 
but uh, my mom, she was born left-handed and her time, and best of she's almost 70, in her time and when she was at school, when she was little, they made her to forget about her left hand. They didn't encourage that time to use your left hand and they made her to use everything to do everything with her right hand so she had to learn to write with your right hand and do everything right um so she can use both hands as well i guess for that reason i always when i when i learned to read i, I learned to read and write uh, with my right hand uh, and draw with my right hand but then if i pick up the phone i would pick it up with my left hand if that makes sense so i don't know it's all jumbled up in there in my brain I guess and I'm so bad at giving directions I never know left to right but although one of you lovely ladies told me yesterday sorry I just got myself in a knot here one of you lovely ladies told me yesterday that the, how she tells the difference between left and right hand is because her wedding finger is her on her left hand so always she's always looks at that one and um, then she remembered that is left so if I give you direction and I say turn right, you might have to turn left, not right in fact. But uh, I will remember that one, the look at my hand, which one is my wedding hand, wedding ring hand, I guess. So I just looped the thread around my super duo. Now when I'm unpicking knots, I always un like to unpick it with two needles so I can hold the knot down with the one needle and then I can pull it uh, together with the other one. I just need to pull this super duo through this loop because it just got caught and that's it and we should be free is that right or have we got another knot oh don't do this with me i think i got another knot on there sorry i just need to pull it out of shot to sort to, to closer because when i'm doing the beading here um, I'm beading quite far away from myself in the middle of the lighting rig. Now we got another knot on there, unfortunately. I just need to bring it closer to see it. And that's it. Come apart, please. You naughty knot. Naughty thread. Naughty thread. I know what I did. I went through the thread path. I sewn through the thread path. Um, with my needle so in that case what I need to do I need to take the needle off my thread and I'm just gonna bring it back and pull the thread back through my beads and then pull it back through the thread path as well see I stitched through the thread there that's it and now the hard part re-threading my needle quickly Just trim the end. Oh, Diana's saying, I feel your pain. I'm so used to knots because obviously, like, if you do bead a lot, it does um, come on your um, thread. You can't, um, so that you just have to learn to remedy it. But it's really good. So if you take two needles and hold the knot down with one needle, you can unpick it easier with another needle. Oh, come on. I think the end is because I pulled it through the thread and this fraying a little bit. Just cut a little bit more off. I really want to. Um... And don't forget the needle are drilled from one side to another. So if your thread doesn't want to go through um, easily one way, then do go through from the other side. Just turn your needle around. Oh, yes. Sorry about that. Oh, can we see my bar parcel just came. Um, the little trays, lots of glass creams and some big crystal buttons. Thank you, Totally Beats. Oh, you're very welcome. So I'm just gonna quickly go back and add these that's it and we're back in business back in back the right way so 
So it's quite um, easy to, I guess now, it's the easy part. We've done the hard part with the right angle weave and now we're just going back and adding our super duos again. But we're almost done. Sorry if I kept you so long. I know we've been here for an hour now. Time flies when you're having fun. Oh, don't say always getting knots. I think we all are. Sometimes, like if you're working in a spiral pattern, like we did the Russian spiral or, um, you know, spiral netting, or we did the herringbone the other day, like these bracelets. What can happen as you're going in a round, you keep twisting your work and then your thread can twist it like that. And when your thread twisted, as you can see, so if I twist a little bit more, it naturally goes into sort of knots and curls up. And in that way, what you need to do, I can't show you sort of straight um, here because the camera is is right up above but you need to hold your needle down you need to let your work dangle down sort of um, not touching any of your mats or tables or anything and just hold the thread between your thumb and forefinger and pull it all the way down and as you're pulling it down the your bead verse is going to start to spin and you just get rid of that um you, you will get rid of all of the sp the um oh what's the word sometimes i can't remember any words no they're neither in english or hungarian all the twists you get rid of all the twists that's it Um, um, Doris is saying an hour long video shows you how quickly you can make a lovely bracelet. So if I wasn't, I guess, talking and stopping and starting and, um, well, and if I didn't have the knot and they had to go back and if I didn't make a mistake, but, um, the bracelet like this is properly takes me about 40 minutes to make, 40, 50 minutes to make. So it's not long at all. And I just really love the fabric-like texture, sort of you creating a really nice ribbon with it um, to what you can create. And you can even do more rows. So if I wanted to, and I want to make it wider, obviously I would have to use a three-loop clasp or like, you know, I could do four rows with a four-loop cup. I then, once I added this row, and we're going to come back on your ourselves and add the seed beads, we quite easily could do another row of pearls and then another row of um, super jewels. Just sort of keep going and adding and making your piece wider and wider, depending on how wide you want it. But I'm almost at the end and then we're going to turn around and I just want to quickly show you on one end how to add, how to attach your clasp. So it's only got a few more to add. Um, Bernie's saying, don't be sorry, 244, happily watching you. Great demo. If you are not happy watching, we don't have to. Ah, oh, thanks, Dor thanks um, Bernie. Well, I got time. I'm going to cycle into work later on because the weather is still nice and sunny. I thought it was supposed to rain today. But I, do you think that uh, um, like on the smartphones now, we got all these lovely apps. So we got, I got the iPhone app for weather and I got the BBC weather app as well. And I swear they change the weather on there so when you look at the seven day forecast is say like um for example like today is tuesday so you would say that oh it's sunny tomorrow rain on thursday rain on friday um sunny on saturday sunny on sunday and then when you check it tomorrow it will say something completely different i did that uh, um you know, saying I was too late for beginning, so I just explained to you in a minute. But I did think that one day, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a screenshot of this um, weather forecast every single day and see how it changes, because I find it quite funny. So we're using Super Geo beads, size 11 seed beads, and three millimeter pearls to create this lovely fabric-like 
structure vidor beads more like a watch strap um sort of look but it's you know really easy to make um it combines two techniques so it combines a straight stringing and it combines um right angle weave oh i thought i was in i need one more super duo and i'm right at the end so because i'm here at the end i'm gonna add another three seed beads to match my other side and then quite simply just gonna turn around and add the seed beads all the way down again that's it just turning around now I'm going to take it down a little bit and because I got thread on this end, I'm going to thread that thread up with a needle and I'll show you how to do the end because I'm quite conscious that we are here for so long. I don't want to keep you for so long. But it's nice to have a nice finish on the end. So when I do these bracelets and I use this through loop magnetic slider clasp spot, three loop ones or four loop ones, Dancing, do you need 20 gram of super duo to make? Um, I don't think so. I um, can't remember how many exactly in the bag. But I, for some reason, I'm in my head, I think I got like, it's approximately seven gram. So super duo is sold by a 10 gram bag. So one bag would be enough to make a bracelet because you do get quite a few in there, they're quite small in size. Have I got the little scales? I, I had a little scales here on the side, I could have measured it to you. But um, things get moved around in my office, in my craft room quite often and not by me. So I think the scales are gone. Simon might have pinched them. Susan is saying, every country has a climate. Britain has weather, whether it will rain or it will not. You know how true is that? Because um, each, um, I guess, nationality has their own sort of saying hello and starting up the conversation. And uh, my in-laws, they do live in Spain quite a lot. They got an apartment out there. But every single time he phones up, he will ask, how's the weather? And I think it is because the weather changes so quickly and quite a lot here that um, it's sort of a topic of conversation all the time. And I find it quite funny when he phones up and asks, oh, how's the weather? And I'm thinking, why do you care? It's 30 degrees in Spain, the sun is shining, are you having a great time? Why do you care if it's rains here or not? But I think when you grow up with it and this changes so much, and um, I suppose learned it the harder way. I have to wear layers now. So when I um, go out to do anything, um, I have to layer up. So I can either take a cardigan off or put another cardigan on, um, depending on how the weather changes. So I think I'm not going to go down anymore. I'm going to thread the needle here and show you to how to do the end down quickly. I'm just going to cut my thread and thread this other needle up. I'm going to leave that needle threaded so I can go on and finish the bracelet on that side. So when I when you want to thread your needle and when you... I didn't cut this uh, right. So when I cut my thread, I sort of like to cut it in an angle. So you create like a point-like, I guess, structure with your... Um, and there and then your needle is drilled from one way to another and I like to bring my needle to my thread when I put it through I know Sarah likes to do that other way she likes to bring her thread to her needle so just turn the bracelet around and I'm going to show you how to sort this and that so because we're coming out of this last super jewel here I'm going to go through this seed bead just in front of me as i said we ha need to add one extra pearl at the end here to match our other side so i'm just gonna pick up a pearl and come 
down on the seed bead on the other row and I'm going to come around as well so I'm connecting all of those beads together. Now to add the end um, I like to is sewn onto the loops themselves but um, because we add this extra bead at the top here and we're gonna sort of loop the seed beads with it it's gonna make those loop sort of hide them so the bracelet is gonna have a right side which is this one and it's gonna have a side where it's showing the loops um i always when you're working with two loop clasp and where's my clasps gone there when you're working with two loop clasp i um or three loop clasps or any clasp when you're doing sort of a strip of a bracelet what i like to do i like to put the clasp down right next to my bracelet and locate um where are those loops get up to which seed beads is the best to connect them with because sometimes these loops can be a little bit wider sometimes they can be a little bit um thinner as well um, with this bracelet i connected them right on the end on the other one as well this is another color so it sort of pulls the ends in a little bit so you have like a little bit of a rounder edge rather than sort of a straight square so as i'm coming out of this pearl i need to weave my thread around to well either of the outer edges so um as i'm coming out here i'm gonna go down into the seed beads towards the other end so towards where my um well this was my tail and that was my working thread so towards my working thread and go to the super jewel as well and i'm gonna turn my thread around so i can go go straight back up to the top by Am I coming out of this hole of the super jewel? And I'm quite simply just gonna go through the other hole and through the seed beads, and that's it. I know then you would be able to see the thread a little bit showing there on the top of your super jewel, but this is why I like to match my color of thread to the seed beads because now, even though there is a little bit of thread there, I can't see it because it's the same color. So, right at the end then i would go through the loop on the clasp and just go back through the same seed bead now there is various different ways how you can join it or how you can attach it you could go into the um, uh, instead of going back down so the loop um, sits there you could go straight into this seed bead right at the top and pull it up so there's no, I guess what I'm trying to say, there's no right or wrong reason, um, wrong way to attach your class because there is many different ways to do it. This will flip around in a minute. So in the middle, if I want to pull the end up, I would just go straight to that pearl. You can also make it a little bit wider by picking up an extra seed bead, then going through the pearl itself. So I'm gonna let that seed bead just sit in there, then pick up another seed bead and go through, as I'm coming out of the pearl, and go through the top of that one and pull this up nice and tight. Just pull the other end down. And now I'm on this side. So again, what I need to do here is go through the other loop on my clasp. And then I'm gonna go straight down on the side, just like that. And we have connected the clasp on there. Now, before I work my threads off or any of you know my ends what i like to do i like to repeat and go through the thread path again so because your weakest point will be the point where is it joined um to your clasp so i would go around and go around those seed beads again and when i come out of well, any of the seed beads you get up to, then just sew it to the loop again. And maybe do it two or three times. Um, you probably can't go around more than four times because then your beads get filled up with your thread. But do do it another time to make it stronger. And that's it. That's how really easy it is. So I'm going to have 
the right side of the bracelet um, where the loops are slightly underneath my bracelet and I'm going to have a the underside where the, the loops are shown as well. So that's just to sort of hide your beads a little bit as well. So that's it really. Um, check out all the lovely colors we have because we have these ones in so many colors, the little kits. Just get rid of these seed beads and I can show you the colors again and then I will turn the camera around. So we have so many lovely colors on the website. This is the one I just been making. There is a purple, there's, oh, I love this aqua. I love the sea foam, but then again, they are my colors. There is a olive color. Um, this one is a gray and aqua. I love this one as well. And there is the midnight blue. Um, oh, and we got sort of a very summery yellow one. But once you learn technique and the pink one, you can make it up with anything you like. We do sell the pearls separately as well on the website. We do sell, um, you know, so once once you know what you're doing, size 11 seed beads, you might have one of the two materials at home. So you might, you might just need the three millimeter pearls or you might just need some extra super duos. But um, a 10 gram bag uh, from the website will make it for you. But do check out. Um, there is only limited stock. I know the yellow and the pink one. And I think it was it the sea foam. I think three of the colors we did um, as a summer color, like sort of a summer special ones. And I know there are limited stock on the website. Um, so do check them out and um, some of them like the yellow and the pink one we can't make any more up because we haven't got the pearls so once they're gone they are gone right let me just turn the camera around so i can see you i'm really sorry so if i if i missed any of your comments i will go back into the video later on and add uh, and answer any questions um you may have had um i um will be with you tomorrow and where is my sample I don't like put it I think is it behind here yes so tomorrow once again we're going to be turning loops which we have been turning loops but once we turned our loops we are going to be making a chain mail with our um beads and i'm going to use gemstone chips i love gemstone chips they're such a um inexpensive material i guess and um they create really nice and patterns so we're going to using gemstone chips and crystal beads and we also are going to be using the hat pin balls so they are the hat pins we just got the balls on them right on the end so if i just bring you up i'll just leave it to focus for a second um they are really great fun to use they're a little bit softer material so we can turn the loops in a little bit different by how we would turn it with um the straight ones and but probably a little bit similar technique to this one but the remember we did this bobbly necklace we used the chain and we added all our makes to, to onto a chain and with this one we're gonna be creating the chain itself as well so do have a lovely day i hope um if the sun is out you can sort of go out maybe do a bit of beading in a garden or do anything anything you like i guess um i'm going to be biking into work and then um i think i'm going to stay a bit later tonight because i kind of i need to finish a few orders um with our suppliers and um, because we're running out of some of the beads now which is great, and um, we need to place a few orders. So um, if you have any questions, you can always email us or message us on Facebook. Um, do, you know, um, I try to get back to you as quick as I can. The team always gets back to the emails quite quick as well. Um, we are working in two teams, so do bear with us. Orders do sometimes take um, a little bit longer to get to you because um, we send everything out straight away when we can. We pack it up and send it out. We up to date. But unfortunately, Royal Mail is behind. And I think last week they were saying that they're three weeks behind with their parcels. So some it can take, depending on what area you live in and how busy is that, I guess, and can take you longer to reach you with... Um, with the real mile. If you're absolutely desperate for beads or you want to do anything, do choose FedEx. I know it's um, a little bit pricey because it's £7.50, but uh, we we have to pay FedEx £7.50. So that's not really us trying to make extra money on it. That's that's how much does it cost for the service because, um, you know, they offer next day and 48 hour um, service as well and they have to get to you. And um, the drivers have to get paid and the sorting centers have to get paid as well. So, so if you do want to 
um, choose for decks. So that's it for me today. It's going to be me tomorrow and then you're going to have a lovely Sarah on Thursday. And um, I'll have to check what we're doing the rest of the week. It's in my diary. Um, we've just been working out what we're going to be doing and what um, sort of techniques are we going to cover. Um, if you have anything what you um, struggle with or you, what you want us to see demo with, do text me because I'm in the process. I haven't finished putting together the whole of June yet. So I am in process of working it out, um, what we're going to be doing. I know the list is as long as my arm and leg together, but um, it, depending on what we can do quicker and if you got a PDF um, drawn up already, because sometimes there are some projects, because they're a newer project or a technique we wanted to show you, there is no PDF um to do it so me to do a pdf um it takes me about four hours to do one page and sometimes the pdfs like you know can be six seven pages long which takes me two days just to write up the instructions so it's impossible to do it in a short period of time but um yeah so we're making up the list please um do send us if you want a technique or, or or a particular bead, you know, if you want. I know Doris asked for one of them and I'm on the case, but I've just got so many things to catch up on. I did have a little look and a little think, but um, I will come up with something. So, you know, anything you want. Oh, Lucy's saying, my postman always says when he delivers a parcel, more beads. Oh, bless. I know. Like we had... um. Uh, at work we had a postman he retired mm, quite a few a few months ago now and um he was ever so lovely um his name was Derek and he knew us so well and he's when every single morning when he come in he said oh well this is your bills and this is your returns and like or this is your this and this is that and and he knew exactly like I think it's just great they're really great um people do check out the USBs as well so if, if you are new um check out because there is videos and projects on there the videos are sort of better quality than what we can offer here on Facebook I guess um they are thirty nine ninety nine on a website, but nine and a half hours of video on there. And I know many of you got it. Um, it's a really great place to start and sort of broaden your knowledge and try out different things. Please do share the video as well, so we can get other people, friends and family, um, other like minded people like you to get them crafting. Because sometimes making a bracelet, if you looked at look this bracelet up in the shop you would think oh i would be never be able to make that but in reality it's a really easy and nice make so do um share the video and so we can get more people crafting and we get more people in here as well it's really nice so um, can you see the beginning somewhere please so after the facebook live finishes i have to post the video on facebook and then you can go back into the video section and watch it from the beginning as well so that's it for me. Um, have a lovely day. Um, whatever you do, do share your pictures in our groups or email us pictures. I always love to see what you, all of you craft a lot are making and doing. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.